Welcome to Who Died Today America, your daily source for remembering and honoring the lives of those who have passed and the legacies of the most notable personalities. Barbara Young, a distinguished career and lasting legacy in British television. British actress Barbara Young, known for her roles in Coronation Street and Last of the Summer Wine, has passed away at the age of 92. Her daughter, Liza Pullman, announced her mother's passing, acknowledging the remarkable care she received at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge. Born on February 9, 1931, Young enjoyed a long and successful career in television, with notable roles in family affairs, doctors and casualty. Described by her daughter as beautiful, brilliant, opinionated, loud, warm-hearted and talented, Young left an indelible mark on British television. In her various appearances on the ITV soap Coronation Street, Young portrayed Barbara Platt, the mother of Martin Platt, who married Gail, and most recently Rita Sullivan's friend Doreen Fenwick. Her character Doreen received a marriage proposal from Norris Cole and experienced a roller coaster friendship with Rita. In addition to her roles in popular television series, Young played Sadie Hargreaves, later Lloyd, in Channel 5 Soap Family Affairs. Her portrayal of Pamela Tripp's gossipy and flamboyant mother spanned over 100 episodes, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Fellow actors and comedians, including Dawn French, Michael Gibson and Tom Skurr, have paid tribute to Young, expressing their condolences and sharing fond memories of working with her. Skurr remarked that Young was totally joyful to work with, a sentiment echoed by many who had the pleasure of collaborating with her during her illustrious career. Barbara Young's contributions to British television will not be forgotten, and her talent, passion, and vivacious spirit will continue to inspire generations of actors and audiences alike. She leaves behind a lasting legacy in the world of entertainment, as well as a loving family who will cherish her memory. Tributes to Barbara Young Tony Elling, a trailblazing burlesque performer who broke barriers. Tony Elling, born Rosita Sims on May 13, 1928, and known by her stage name Satin Doll, was an American burlesque dancer who passed away at the age of 94. As an African-American performer, Elling broke barriers and paved the way for future generations of artists in the entertainment industry. Born in Detroit to Joseph and Myrtle Sims, Elling was the eldest of three children. Frustrated by the lack of promotional opportunities due to her race while working as a telephone operator at the Michigan Bell Telephone Company, she turned to burlesque dancing in 1960 at the age of 32. A friend's suggestion to try this new form of performance led to a career that spanned over a decade, with Elling performing until the early 1970s. Elling took her name from her friend and confidant, band leader Duke Ellington, and maintained friendships with other notable figures such as Sammy Davis Jr and fighter Joe Lewis. Her performances focused on the art of suggestion, avoiding overly revealing outfits, emphasizing the tease in the performances. In 1974, Elling retired from the stage, but her contributions to the world of burlesque did not go unnoticed. In 2016, she was inducted into the Burlesque Hall of Fame in Las Vegas, solidifying her place in the history of the art form. Tony Elling's legacy as a trailblazing burlesque performer who broke barriers and redefined the art will continue to inspire and influence generations of performers and enthusiasts. Tributes to Tony Elling. Megan Terry a trailblazing feminist playwright and innovator in rock musicals. Megan Terry, an Obie Award-winning feminist playwright and founding member of the Open Theatre Group, passed away at a hospital in Omaha at the age of 90. Terry was a prolific writer, with 70 plays to her name, and a pioneer in the world of rock musicals with her groundbreaking work, Viet Rock, a folk war movie. Debuting at the Martinique Theatre in 1966, Viet Rock is considered the first American stage work to address the Vietnam War, predating the iconic musical Hair. The play's poignant and pointed lyrics, along with its fusion of politics and popular culture, left a lasting impact on audiences and the theatre community. 
Terry went on to write the Obie Award-winning Approaching Simone in 1970, a play about French activist philosopher Simone Weil. Her experimental work with the Open Theatre Group, employing the technique of transformation, pushed the boundaries of theatre and brought her critical acclaim. Throughout her illustrious career, Terry sought to address contemporary issues and engage with young audiences. Her plays ranged from adaptations of fairy tales like The Snow Queen to explorations of social issues like illiteracy and headlights. As a co-founder of the Women's Theatre Council in 1972, Terry was a strong advocate for women in the arts. Megan Terry's lasting legacy in theatre is characterised by her groundbreaking work in rock musicals, her relentless pursuit of innovation, and her contributions to feminist theatre. Her work as a playwright and director has left an indelible mark on the world of theatre and will continue to inspire future generations of artists and writers. Tributes to Megan Terry Fumio Demura, a master of karate and lasting legacy in martial arts and film, renowned Japanese karateka, and Kobudoka Fumio Demura, who had been based in the United States since the mid-1960s, passed away at the age of 84. A ninth dan in Shitoryu Karate, Demura played a pivotal role in popularizing martial arts in the West through his expertise and passion. Best known as Pat Morita's martial arts stunt double in the first, third and fourth Karate Kid films, Demura was also one of the inspirations for the iconic character Mr. Miyagi. His skill, dedication and influence in the martial arts world helped bring the practice to a wider audience, paving the way for future generations of martial artists. Throughout his distinguished career, Demura not only contributed to the world of martial arts, but also played a vital role in shaping the cultural landscape of film and television. His work in the Karate Kid films allowed audiences to witness authentic martial arts, sparking interest in the discipline and fostering a deeper appreciation for its history and tradition. Demura's life and work serve as a testament to the power of perseverance, discipline, and dedication. As an ambassador of Japanese martial arts in the United States and around the world, he bridged cultures and inspired countless practitioners to pursue their passion for karate and kabudo. Fumio Demura's legacy will endure in the martial arts community as well as in the hearts and minds of those he inspired through his teachings, films, and personal example. His contributions to both martial arts and the world of cinema will be remembered and cherished for generations to come. Tributes to Fumio Demura. Nikita Storojev, a celebrated bass and influential educator in the world of opera. Russian-American bass and educator Nikita Storojev passed away at the age of 73, leaving behind a rich legacy in both performance and education. Born in Karbin, China in 1950, Storojev's family moved to Soviet Russia when he was five. After initially studying philosophy, he pursued a career in music, studying voice at the Mussorgsky Conservatory in Yekaterinburg and later at the Moscow Conservatory. Storojev's successful career took off after winning the Tchaikovsky competition in 1978, serving as principal soloist for the Bolshoi Theatre and the Moscow Philharmonic Society. He emigrated from the Soviet Union in 1983, performing at renowned opera houses, concert halls and festivals worldwide, amassing a repertoire of over 50 operatic roles and over 300 classical songs. With 25 CDs and 5 DVDs to his name, Storojev performed under the guidance of influential figures such as Sir John Pritchard, Claudio Abado, Mstislav Rostropovich, Vladimir Ashkenazi and Marius Janssens. His performances include memorable roles in productions like San Francisco Opera's Lady Macbeth of Metzenk and the title role in Komischer Oper Berlin's Boris Godunov. Storojev's dedication to education was evident in his work as a voice teacher at the University of Texas Butler School of Music, where he helped shape the careers of aspiring artists. His students have gone on to win national competitions, join young artist programs, and launch their professional careers. Storojev also shared his expertise in masterclasses worldwide. Nikita Storojev's legacy as a celebrated bass and influential educator 
will continue to inspire generations of musicians and opera enthusiasts alike. Tributes to Nikita Storajev. Helen Varney, renowned opera singer and educator passes away at 99. Helen Varney, a celebrated American opera singer who performed both mezzo-soprano and soprano roles, passed away at the age of 99. Born on January 30, 1924, in Davenport, Iowa, she studied piano and voice before attending college at St. Catherine University in St. Paul, Minnesota. Varney made her debut at the Metropolitan Opera in 1956, in the role of the page in Rigoletto. Throughout her career she appeared in over 400 performances at the Met, sharing the stage with iconic singers such as Leontine Price, Renata Tabaldi, Maria Callas, Jussie Bjorling, Victoria de Los Angeles, and Licia Albanese. From 1960 to 1977, she performed regularly with the Santa Fe Opera, where her debut season included leading roles in The Marriage of Figaro, La Cenerentola, and The Gondoliers. Other notable roles included the title role in Mignon at the San Francisco Opera, and 23 performances as the title character in Ariadne auf Naxos at the Glinderborn Festival Opera in 1971-72. Varney was also an educator, teaching at the Manhattan School of Music and the Cleveland Institute of Music, where she served as head of the voice faculty. Some of her notable recordings include works by Arnold Schoenberg with pianist Glenn Gould, Anton Bruckner's Symphony No. 5 with the Philadelphia Orchestra conducted by Eugene Ormandy, and Mendelssohn's Incidental Music to a Midsummer Night's Dream with the Boston Symphony Orchestra conducted by Eric Leinsdorf. Helen Vani is survived by her three children. Her husband, Mario Vani, predeceased her in 2015. Her legacy as an opera singer and educator will live on, inspiring future generations of performers. Tributes to Helen Vani. Elizabeth Hubbard, a trailblazing talent and cherished legacy in theatre and television. Elizabeth Hubbard, an accomplished actress known for her long-running roles on daytime soap operas The Doctors and As the World Turns, passed away at the age of 89. With an incredible career spanning the stage and screen, Hubbard leaves a cherished legacy as a trailblazing talent in the entertainment industry. Hubbard's portrayal of Dr. Althea Davis on NBC's The Doctors from 1964 to 1982, and later as the cunning Lucinda Walsh on CBS's As the World Turns from 1984 until the show's end in 2010, made her a beloved and enduring figure in daytime television. In addition to her television success, Hubbard appeared in 14 Broadway productions, showcasing her range and versatility as a performer. Her film credits include memorable roles in I Never Sang for My Father, 1970, the Bell Jar, 1979, Ordinary People, 1980, Cold River, 1982, and Center Stage, 2000. Hubbard's talent and dedication to her craft earned her 11 Daytime Emmy nominations, with wins in 1974 and 1976 for her performances as Dr. Althea Davis and Edith Wilson, respectively. Born in New York on December 22, 1933, Hubbard graduated from Radcliffe College in 1955 and studied acting at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. Her Broadway resume boasts an impressive list of productions, including Compulsion, A Day in the Death of Joe Egg, I Remember Mama, and her final credit, 1983's Dance a Little Closer. Hubbard's trailblazing spirit and commitment to excellence in acting influenced generations of performers and entertained audiences for decades. Her unforgettable characters and captivating performances will forever be remembered as an integral part of television and theatre history. As we honour Elizabeth Hubbard, we celebrate her extraordinary career and lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. Tributes to Elizabeth Hubbard. Chris Smith, a tenacious football career and enduring legacy in the NFL. 
Chris Smith, a talented American professional football player who spent eight seasons in the National Football League as a defensive end, passed away at the age of 31, with a career that saw him play for numerous NFL teams and the Seattle Sea Dragons in the XFL, Smith's tenacity, skill and passion for the game left a lasting impression on the football community. Born on February 11, 1992, Smith began his football journey at the University of Arkansas, where he played for the Razorbacks. His college career laid the foundation for his entry into the NFL, with the Jacksonville Jaguars selecting him in the fifth round of the 2014 NFL Draft. Smith's determination and prowess on the field soon made him a valuable asset to numerous teams during his career, including the Cincinnati Bengals, Cleveland Browns, Carolina Panthers, Las Vegas Raiders, Baltimore Ravens, and Houston Texans. Apart from his NFL career, Smith also played for the Seattle Sea Dragons in the XFL, further showcasing his adaptability and versatility as a football player. Known for his relentless work ethic and commitment to his teams, Smith's impact on the sport was undeniable. Though his life was cut tragically short, Chris Smith's enduring legacy in the NFL and the wider football community remains as a testament to his unwavering passion for the game. His career serves as an inspiration for aspiring football players and fans alike, who will continue to remember and celebrate his contributions to the sport. Tributes to Chris Smith Moonbin, a shining star and profound impact on the K-pop world. The world of K-pop has recently lost one of its shining stars, as singer Moonbin, known by the stage name Moonbin, passed away at the age of 25. Born on January 26, 1998 in Cheongju, North Chungbuk Province, Moonbin started his career as a child model and actor, starring in music videos and TV shows, including the hit KBS drama Boys Over Flowers. Moonbin joined Fantagio's training program at a young age and met his Astro Band members while starring together in the web drama To Be Continued. In February 2016, they formed the six-member boy band, Astro, and released their debut album, Spring Up. Astro quickly gained success in South Korea and Japan, garnering praise from Billboard magazine for their bright synth-pop sound. In addition to his work with Astro, Moonbin was part of the group's first subunit, Moonbin and Sanha, and released their debut album in 2020. He was also set to host an Asia fan contour in May, but the event has been cancelled following his untimely death. Moonbin is survived by his sister, Moon Sua, a fellow K-pop star and member of the group Billy. His sudden passing has left fans, fellow artists and the K-pop community in shock and mourning. The talented singer and performer made a lasting impact on the world of K-pop, and his loss will be deeply felt. Memorials adorned with purple and silver balloons, as well as flowers and notes, have appeared in South Korea and around the world as fans pay tribute to the young star. Moonbin's life and career serve as a testament to his passion for music and the arts, and his spirit will live on in the hearts and minds of fans, friends and family. Tributes to Moonbin Michael Lerner, a master of transformation and a lasting legacy in film and television. Acclaimed actor Michael Lerner, known for his extensive and diverse career in film and television, has passed away at the age of 81 due to complications from brain seizures. Born on June 22, 1941 in Brooklyn, Lerner's talent for transforming into any character he played earned him a well-deserved reputation as a chameleon in the entertainment industry. From his role as the volatile movie studio mogul Jack Lipnick in Barton Fink, to a forceful but short-tempered publishing executive in the Christmas comedy Elf, Lerner's ability to bring depth and authenticity to each character was unrivaled. His performance in Barton Fink garnered him an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor in 1992, showcasing his immense talent and commitment to the craft. Beginning his acting journey at the twilight of Hollywood's golden age, Lerner studied English drama at the University of California, Berkeley, and continued his training at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art under a Fulbright scholarship. After working in New York delicatessens, he moved to San Francisco in the late 1960s and honed his skills at the American Conservatory Theatre. 
His career spanned over five decades, and his credits include appearances in classic TV shows like MASH, The Brady Bunch, and Hill Street Blues. He also portrayed Jack Ruby in the 1978 television movie Ruby and Oswald, and appeared in London's West End alongside Madonna in Up for Grabs. Lerner's passion for art, first edition books, opera and hockey contributed to his range and versatility as an actor, and his intelligence shone through in each of his portrayals. As we remember Michael Lerner and his incredible body of work, we celebrate a remarkable life devoted to the arts and the lasting legacy he leaves behind. Tributes to Michael Lerner. Thanks for watching Who Died Today America. If you enjoyed this tribute, please give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories. Leave a comment below telling us who inspired you the most. See you in the next video.